Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to look at Microsoft Intune and we're going to start configuring our Intune tenant for automatic device enrollment to make sure when devices are automatically joined to Azure, Azure Active Directory, they are also automatically enrolled in Endpoint Manager so we can, uh, so we can manage them, so we can configure them, so we can deploy compliance policies, control them with conditional access, and make sure our um, organizational data is, is secure. So we're going to start off here in the Intune portal or the Microsoft Endpoint Manager Admin Center, and we need to first enable our MDM user scope. So the, by enabling the MDM user scope, we're defining which users can do uh, exactly what I mentioned. So whenever their device is joined to Azure Active Directory, they're automatically enrolled in uh, Intune. We're starting off at endpoint.microsoft.com. We're going to come over to the left-hand side and we're going to select devices. And under device enrollment, we will select enroll devices. And then at the Windows enrollment tab, we have our automatic enrollment page. And I'm going to set this immediately to none. But what you want to do is make sure this is set to all. Now, when it's set to all, any user who joins a device to Azure Active Directory their device or their Windows device will automatically be enrolled in Microsoft Endpoint Manager. Now you can select some and you can define which groups if you want to roll this out in a phased way. My recommendation though would be to set it to all and then use something like conditional access policies if you're licensed to do so to, um, to manage you know, where they can join their machines to Active Directory and what kind of systems and tools and uh, uh, cloud apps they have access to. So really set this to all, then use conditional access policies to lock that down. But we'll go through conditional access policies in a further video. So make sure you like and subscribe to be alerted when that next comes out. Now, the reason I've set this to none is because I want to show you can also achieve the same result programmatically by using PowerShell. Now that's convenient if you have more than one tenant or if you are going to be doing this often, if you're a managed service provider, and you're really trying to push your um, clients to go down the Microsoft Intune route and get rid of their legacy group policies and, and uh, premise infrastructure per se. So if we come over to my blog page to ourcloudnetwork.com, I have a post here uh, titled how to update Intune MDM user scope using PowerShell. So if we go to the page contents and click here, we will come down to my script that I wrote, which does exactly that. So. Uh, let's just check. So yeah, it's definitely set to none. So at the moment, while it's set to none, if devices are joined to Azure Active Directory, they won't be automatically enrolled in Intune or the MDM. That's what MDM stands for, Mobile Device Management. So I've pasted the script into my IDE here. Uh, I've tested it earlier. And um, really this script's gonna run through and just get that enabled for us. So let's demonstrate it. So I'm gonna click one script and it's gonna cycle through. It's gonna check the MDM scope settings. It will tell us the scope isn't set. It will set the scope to all, and then it will come back and say, the MDM scope is now set to all. Um, you will normally get an interactive login prompt here. I'm already logged in, uh, and I don't want it to bring up on the screen all the different accounts I've logged in with. Um, so just make sure when you sign into that prompt, you're signing in with an Intune administrator or a global administrator account, and it will get that done for you. So now that's done, if we come back to our configure um, enrollment page and click refresh, we'll see that the MDM user scope is now set to all and it's perfect to, to kind of get going now. So that's that set. You shouldn't need to do any more. When devices now are joined to Azure AD, you should see them in your device list uh, under Windows and you'll see all your devices, all your devices listed there. So there we have it. That's the first video um, in this series. I hope it's been helpful. Be sure to like and subscribe if you think it was. And until the next video, thank you very much.